Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and today I'm going to show you how to manage your projects using Apple Notes as the primary projects driver and reminders as being the trigger to tell you which projects to work on. Now this is a leaf straight out of my time sector system productivity time management system and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Now before we go any further if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips tricks and news on using Apple's suite of productivity tools then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let me take you into Apple Notes now and let's start managing our projects. Okay, so here we are in my notes on my iPad. Now, there's a reason why I'm showing you this on the iPad is because I have discovered there is a bug in macOS Catalina, which I will explain when we get to that problem. Okay, first up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my projects folder right here. And what you're going to see right at the very top is I have what I call my 2021 project master list. Now, what I've done here is this is basically the summary of the projects that I have ongoing at the moment. Now, we're coming toward the end of the year. I only have two projects or big projects, if you like, left of this quarter. We're moving house at the end of this month and I want to add uh, an update to my time sector system course. By the way, this is my real project master list. So what I've done here is all I'm doing is just a real big summary of what my projects are based on the current situation. So we've signed the contracts on the lease for the house. I just need to confirm the move date because it's a brand new building. They haven't finished building it yet, but we anticipate round about the end of November. And we also need to find a truck to move furniture. Now, that isn't a real problem for us. My father-in-law has a truck, so we see if we can borrow that for a weekend. And then I've got a link to the project note. Now, in this particular case, I don't really have a to-do list set up yet because my wife is managing that. But I do have a link to my new office link, which is right here. So if I click on that, it will bring me the, my new office images. And as I say, the, the building isn't finished yet. So it's all currently under construction. There's a lot of cement bags and paper and cardboard on the floor. The floor hasn't been put down yet either. As you can see, it's just concrete there. So this is basically where I'm going at the moment because I'm kind of planning out where I'm going to put stuff, how I'm going to organize the office. I also have an office purchase list in here. These are the things that I actually need to buy. I don't actually need that. We've discovered uh, these are things that I would love to have. I'd love to have a Dyson vacuum cleaner and there's a couple of things I have my Leeds Rhino shirts from a few years ago that I would love to actually get put in a frame so these are the things I don't actually need a lot of stuff for my office because I already have quite a lot of stuff so this is the actual project note it's the 2021 house move and I've got all the different things in there that I want to do one of the things that I want to do while I'm here is to actually do my you know review my clothing what do I, I want to go back to trying to get back to my minimalist because I've got, I was realized I've got a lot of stuff lying around and I just want to have a good clear out while I have the opportunity. So that's just an example of a project and how you can actually get back to it. So if again, if I go back to my project, this is the main project folder. I also have one here called Island. Now, the reason why this is here is because all being well, at the end of this year, around about the 15th of December, I will be able to travel to see my family for Christmas. And usually when I go to Ireland, there are a few things to buy. Now, one of the things that you cannot buy in Korea is a tin for holding your tea bags. We call it a tea caddy. And I really would love to be able to get a unique tea caddy. So that's what I'm looking for when I go to Ireland. I've just added to this list. I've only just started this list. But the main projects, most of my projects are a little bit bigger than those simple projects. 
So I've got one here, which is my CAPS 2021 update. Now, the interesting thing with this one is this has now been actually um, completed. I completed that this week. So what I could do is I can go into edit. Hopefully this is going to be a real test. Go to the three dots here, move this folder. So I'm going to click on move this folder and I'm now going to move that down to my archive because I don't need that in my main projects. It has now been completed. So that's done. Uh, so that's how you do that. By the way, just to give you an update, that's all you need to do is go to edit and you'll see the three dots here. You can click on that and it'll say move this folder and you can then move it to whatever folder you want. Now, I obviously don't want to do that. So let's just click out of that. Now, another one that I want to show you is let's go into my Time Set to System course update. Now, this is, is now a course that actually is going to become my next update. So it has become what I call a current project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add in my current. So as you can see down at the bottom right there, I've just typed in the hashtag. I'm going to hit current and that's now been added. If I go back, what I've done is these notes with current as a smart folder. So anything with that tag will come up here. So everything that I'm currently working on is right up at the top right here. Now I've got a note down here, which is my TSS project note. So this is my book that I'm writing. So this is not the actual course, but it is current because I'm currently working on the Time Sector System book. And you can see that right here. And the note for that is here. Now, a lot of people ask me when you're managing your projects in your notes rather than your rather than reminders. How do you know about deadlines? How do you know about stuff like that? Well, here's an example. When I first started writing the Time Sector System book, I decided that I was going to publish it at the end of this year. Now, I've decided to extend that deadline to the end of February, just simply because things got in the way, we're moving house, and there's a lot of things going on. So I've delayed the, 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 the publication of the Time Sector System book. So I haven't gone in here and redone these dates. But what I will do is I can go in here now and I can actually change this. So I want to get the, fir the, the first draft finished on the 31st of December. The reason for that is I've got two weeks at the end of this year where all being well, I am going to be in Ireland and there's not a great deal for me to do during the day. So this is a great time to finish the first draft. The first draft is probably about 90% completed. So that would mean that the first edit needs to be done by the 31st of January. Um, and the cover design, I can do that anytime, but I'm gonna I'm gonna coincide that with also the 31st of January. Uh, 2022 and then the final edits I want to be done by the middle of uh, February uh, 2022 and then I want to publish it around about the 28th of February. So this is where I would put my deadline dates. Now the thing about this is this is my self-imposed deadlines. You may have a boss telling you when you want or a client telling you when projects to be finished but you can put them in here. You can also have your outcome here. So just a reminder of projects. And then in this particular case, I've just added stuff. Like I've got chapters to add, uh, which I've got in here, which I will put in there. Um, and I can do all sorts of things and add stuff that I'm you know, thinking of as I'm doing the project. And when I start doing the, the cover designs, there's going to be more notes added here because I will start adding the images so I can just have a quick look to see. So there's an example of how I'm doing the projects. Now, one thing that I want to go back to is uh, to the to the main project folder with this with my uh, project master list because I have this link here. Now, as I mentioned, there is a problem in macOS Catalina. When you click on that link on your computer, it's going to crash notes and then you have to restart and it won't open the note. Now, at the moment, I don't know when Apple's going to fix this, but I don't actually mind this as a problem right now simply because it really doesn't have that much of an effect on what I am doing because when I'm on my computer, the bigger real estate means I can have my projects list open anyway and it's just as quick to click on the on the actual project folder. When I'm using an iPad or iPhone or my iPhone, it is much more helpful to have this link active and they are active on iOS. Now, let's say when we're doing, how do you bring reminders into this this uh 
mix, if you like. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Reminders, but I'm just going to open it up here. So I've got my inbox. So as I go through my projects, I can say, right, next week I really need to do work on my, let's say the house move. This is something I need to look at my office purchase list. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new reminder. And I'm just going to drag that into my uh, into my inbox because this is something that I'm going to work on next week. Let's go back. I can go back to my current, by the way, and I can look at this and say, yes, I need to carry on working on my 2022 planning. So I'm just going to move, whoops, I'm going to move this, move this into that. So this is how I'm doing that. And I'm going to go into my uh, looking down here, TS, my time set to system update. I need that to work on that. So I'm going to put that in there. So these are now in my reminders. So let's go open up reminders because this is going to, this I want to change the, the task. So uh, for this, I'm going to say, look into my, uh, sorry, I'm going to change it. Look at, look at office purchase list. What can I buy this week? Um, and I'm not going to add a date to that at the moment. And 2022. So here I've got an interesting one because I've got to go continue working on. And this is this is something that I really do have to do this week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my information here. I'm going to add a date to this and I'm going to say, right, I'm going to do this on Sunday. And I'm not going to add a time, but I do want to flag this. So I'm going to add the flag and that's done. And I'm going to go my TSS update. I So this is something that I work on. So I'm going to, I work on online courses on a Tuesday. So uh, actually on a Wednesday next week. So work on update again. I'm just going to go into, actually you don't have to do that. I can just do here uh, Wednesday and it's going to give me, is it the first Oh, suggested date 17th which is the correct one so that's going to come up and I want to flag that as well so I'm just going to go down here I'm going to add the flag and that's in okay so that's done right so what I need to do is this now is going to be work on that's on the 17th that's for, for me that's now next week so I'm just going to drag that into next week I don't need to worry about it today continue working on that's going to be this week so I'm going to drag that into my this week folder and look at office purchase list again that's going to be into next week I can deal with that when I do my weekly planning and that's it that's how you manage your projects using your Apple productivity tools. That's how most of your project details are being held in Apple Notes because you have the freedom to add images, screenshots, links from emails, links from websites, which you cannot really do using reminders. Reminders just needs to be there to say today you are working on this project and you click on the link. So let's just go back to this one. So we've done this for next week. So look at office purchase list. Uh, let's say work on time set to system update. I just have to tap the note and bang, it brings up the note and I can get on working. So there you go. That's it. That's all you need to know about managing projects in your iOS Apple productivity system. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in Reminders and and notes. We're going to be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem, I can guarantee is going to make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks. It's all going to be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the Time Sector System and my brand new Notes Organization System, Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course. And don't forget, if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.